Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Designs by Stephanie. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. If you have not been here before, I would love to have you as part of the DBS family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. Today, I'm doing another studio vlog and I'm doing it on showing you guys how to do a mock-up of an item say if you buy a cup and you want to go in silhouette and you want to make something for the cup so i'm going to show you how to go in take a picture how you take a picture of this and how you put it into the silhouette software and do a mock-up of the same size of the cup so that you can add whatever you want to it and see how it looks and you can send the information to your clients so that they can select whatever it is they want on the cup if you're doing different variations or if you're doing different font or what have you so that they can visually see it and make a decision on what it is they want. So if you're interested in seeing that, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay, first this is the mock-up of the picture that I originally took to put into the system. And we're going to go to remove.pg where we're going to load that picture into into this site so that it can remove the background very easily. So I'm selecting the picture that I chose. Um, now it's uploading it to the site and now it's going to remove the background. See how easy that is? It's just very simple and clear. Uh, you click allow to allow it to download it to your PC and the image will automatically open on your PC. Um, I always rename the file just so I know where it is and I can find it so that I can pull it into the silhouette program and I use the business edition so you can save it wherever you want to but I just leave it in the download so that I know where it is but if I need to save it somewhere else I will now I go into silhouette and I open up a new tab and then I go to resize my, well, I take the registration marks out first. And then I go to resize the sheet so that it is the size of the cup, which is what I'm using. So I go custom and it's three and eight is the height. Three is the width, eight is height. Then I go in and merge in the actual cup. And I saved it in download, so I go over there and select it so that it pulls in. Then I go in and I resize the cup to fit in this sheet how I have it where it is the width uh, 3 inches and the height um, 8 inches, which is the size of the actual cup itself. I made it a little bit big where the cup is a little bit smaller than that, but I made it a little bit bigger just so I can get it in there and it fits in the entire um, portion of the screen. I go ahead and get it angled correctly once I resize it so that it's actually straight up and down so that when I put anything on it, it is the correct size. And it looks very good when you load it, um, download it to put into your mock um, document. So here I'm just looking for the font that I need because I'm going to put font on it and I'm typing that out and they selected two different types of font so you'll see me go through this of adding the two different types of font on here so I'll just let you guys see that. I pretty much always trace my font, especially when I use in cursive and it has thin lines so that it's a little bit thicker. So I always select the area and then put it to 100% and trace it. And then I just move it down and put the color back onto it. Um, this one had a little bit of uh, garbage on it, so I had to delete that out. I don't know why it did that. It might have been something that was already on the screen, but I don't know. You always check that to make sure so it don't cut, you know, where it should be cutting. So I always just check it and remove any garbage that's there. So it's just simple. You just double click on it and then just delete it out. Um, 
and then once I do that I just add some color to it and put it back put the original over to the side um, put the original over to the side and then I take the copy and I use that as well and this is the second font that they chose so I'm gonna go up and um, look for it and then I just change that to the second font so that I can go ahead and have both of them at the same time and it don't take me a lot of time to go through and do the mock-up pictures And here you see me just moving it. Um, I want them all to be four inches wide and about one and a half inches um, in length so that it fits on the cup properly. I don't want it to overwhelm the cup so I take it up here and use the ruler at the top to just resize it so that it's to the size that I, I think is appropriate. Then I go ahead and I trace this one like I did the last one and make a copy of it because it has cut lines in the original. I move that over to the side. Then I go ahead and add some color to that one just like I did the last one. And then I select them both so that I can turn them to the side. Then I select object, then rotate and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then I move the one that I'm going to use onto the picture. And then the one that I'm not going to use, I move it off to the side. But I just want to make sure it's in the right place. And my cut lines are red, so I'm changing them to gray so that when I make the copy of the picture to put on my mock-up, the red doesn't show. I don't think it shows, but I always change it just in case it does. So I do save as, save to hard drive. Um, then I realize that it's not placed properly where I want it. So I'm doing a little bit of adjustments there. And then I'm just going to go back in and do file save as again. And you always want to save it to your hard drive because you're going to have to change the actual file type, the format which you see that at the bottom. And I have, again, the business edition, so I don't know if all these file types are in other editions. I know that they may be, but I don't think they're in the free one, but I think they may be in the other ones that you pay for. So not sure on that. So check that to make sure you may have to upgrade to a new edition. So I go ahead, once I do the save as, I say put the file name as I want it, and I cut and paste it. I go down here and I change it to a PNG file. Then I change my uh, DPI to 300. I always check transparent background, and then I save it. I move that one off. I put the other one on, get it placed where I want it to be placed. And then I do the same process that I just did with the other font. And I always change my DPI to 300 because I want the resolution to be really good when I uh, make the mock-up to send to the client so that it's, you know, not blurry and it has a good, uh, good view. And once I finish, I always like to go back and look at the documents, the PNG file that I saved and... Here I, I made a mistake on it, so I had to back that out, and that's it. I go ahead, open up Procreate, I load the file in, I save them um, there on my download. So I'm going ahead and picking that up and importing that into my Procreate. I already have templates made out to send to clients, so I just go in and add the document to it. Well, not the document, but add the actual PNG file to it. Get it placed how I want to on my template. And then I just go ahead, once I get that situated how I want to on the template, I go ahead and uh, share it. And I export it as a image and save it to 
where I can email it and file, uh, email it or text it, text it to a client. Then when I go in to get pick up my second sample, I change the the logo to sample two, and then I go in and and import the file for that one, and then I just do the same thing. I export it back out to share and save it to my photos so that I can have it to attach to an email or a text message as I said to send to a client once I get that all set up and situated. And that is pretty much it. I go ahead and send it to the client and let them decide which one that they prefer. So yeah, that is how you go ahead and do that. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. These are the two samples. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you have any questions, please leave those below. And I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you guys for stopping by. And I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.